If you're looking to get in the tech industry today, I'm going over the top highest paying entry level roles in tech coming up. You gotta get in the tech. All right, up first, we have the QA Automation Engineer, all right? And QA stands for Quality Assurance. So the QA Automation Engineer is responsible for testing and making sure that the process of the software and the application is going smoothly and perfectly. They test the functionality and make sure that the software is performing at its absolute best, right? You don't want any bugs or anything that's gonna make the user have a bad experience with your product. And that's where the QA automation engineer comes in, all right? And with that, in an entry level role, the QA automation engineer they can expect around $70,000 on the entry level. And that's not too bad for making sure that the software is up to par. Also real quick, wanted to thank you for stopping by. Welcome to the channel, I'm Tech Bag Trey. And if you don't know, I actually broke into the tech industry not too long ago as well myself and literally had no experience, no kind of background history in tech. And so really now I'm just sharing it and getting everything out as well as all the other sides and spaces that you can break into the tech industry. I broke in through the tech sell side, but there's plenty more options out there and people ask a lot. So I'm just gonna get it out here by starting with this right here. It's a new series I'm starting called Get In Tech Initiative, all right? So really I'm gonna be going through different job roles and what they entail to help you make the decision to leave corporate america and get into the tech industry okay everything is happening in the tech industry right now and that's where you want to be all right if you're going to be doing customer service you need to be doing it in the tech industry and that goes for every other job as well so with that being said we're going to jump back in and we're going to go to number two cybersecurity analysts in an era where we're constantly having cyber threats and um, cybersecurity like problems and breaches and all these things, right? Cybersecurity analysts are in high demand, all right? These professionals, they basically protect whole organizations from these cyber attacks. I know that ain't who I think it is. What is a cyber attack? You know, when they say, hey, your email has been breached you, you're gonna need to change your passwords and any other passwords that go with, they're trying to stop all of that from happening with specific companies. Because y'all, when these companies experience those type of breaches on the big scale, that's costing them money. Not only is it hurting the reputation, but these people are having to actually pay, right? Because it's possible that you have now exposed my information to someone who's going to take it and then really spend all my money or destroy my credit, all these other things that could happen. So they are literally paying big money to have people in place to stop these attacks, not to mention the government is kind of putting things in place where companies have to have someone looking over and making sure that they're checking the boxes and not just checking the boxes, but thorough work, y'all, all right, and protecting these companies and their assets. So with the rise of technology and the need for cybersecurity analysts, it's only gonna increase, like I said, and so will the salaries. Y'all, speaking of salaries, cybersecurity analysts can literally earn upwards of $84,000 per year as an entry level role. That's crazy. And speaking of cybersecurity and entry level roles, today's sponsor rolls right along with that level careers. If you haven't heard of level careers, it is one of the easiest ways to be able to break in to the cybersecurity industry. And as an entry level role, you can have no experience, no college education and still be able to break in and get one of these high paying roles in the cyberspace, all right? They're gonna be teaching you how to become a SOC analyst. Now, a lot of times you hear these boot camps and they charge you boatloads of money. They don't really help you on the backside of things, right? Like 
getting the role, getting the job, Level Careers has a way to be able to not only bring you in with no experience and help you get experience, but also teach you the exact ways and what's gonna help get you into a role as fast as possible in the cyberspace. Now, the other side of that is the affordability. For what you get in this course, you cannot beat the price, okay? So with that being said, they're going to give you a free introductory course that you can go through to see if cybersecurity is something that you wanna get into. All you have to do is click the QR code on the screen or click the link in the description below and that's gonna allow you to be able to see if cybersecurity is gonna be your next industry that you break into. And I hope so because y'all, it's not going anywhere. It's only gonna get better. It's only gonna get bigger. Y'all, you need to do it. You know you want to. Go ahead, click the link in the description below. Let's get back to it. All right, y'all, so that brings us to number three is UX design. And I know you're probably thinking like, what in the world is UX? UX stands for user experience, right? So, so user experience has really came a big differentiator in the tech industry. UX designers are high, high in demand right now. Um, they basically make sure that the digital products and your websites and things like that are intuitive and very user friendly. All right. So when it says user experience, that's the things that we see as consumers, right? So have you ever been on a website and you're like, man, this website flows, this fire, or like, man, like, I love how they did this, did that. You know, the feeling you get, like when you're on the Apple website and you see all the things that are going on, you're like, man, that's fire. Well, there's someone who has did that and made that design and they're UX designers. So if that's something that's always intrigued you or you've been on websites and you're like, wow, they should have put this button over here because that would have made it easier for me to, if you've ever had those type of thoughts, you might be good as, as a UX designer. So it's something you probably should definitely check into. With that being said, it's a growing space, right? Pe now that everything is going digital, more people are needing websites, more people are needing different things that they need to have a great user experience so that people can continue to stay on longer and spend more money. Ultimately, that's what they want as well. With the growing importance of customer satisfaction, entry-level UX designers can expect anywhere between 50 and $80,000 a year entry-level role. So y'all, I don't think that's something you can actually sleep on. Plus it definitely has great opportunities in this space in the coming years. So definitely check it out. And with that, that's gonna take us to Number four, AI engineers. All right, I don't know if you've seen this, but right now, like AI has taken over, y'all. It's, I mean, everywhere you look, right? Chat GPT this, Mid Journey that, all these different AI apps and just everything that's going on, you know that this is really taking over the world, right? And why not just literally solidify your spot by becoming an AI engineer. And basically AI engineers, they develop and implement cutting edge AI solutions that help businesses like really transform the way that they operate, right? And as AI continues to become mainstream, the demand for AI engineers is only gonna skyrocket and it's only gonna grow. And guess what? When there's not a lot of them, but the actual demand form is there, y'all already know, that price is going up. Yesterday's price is not today's price. And right now they're seeing anywhere between $49,500 all the way up to $70,000 a year as an entry level role. And y'all, and after that, I can't even tell y'all where to go to. You just gonna have to go and do the research yourself after those first few years. It's crazy. Let's go to number five, the fifth top high paying entry level tech role is tech sales. Now, when it comes to tech sales, not only is this one of the easiest ways to break into tech, but y'all, the money is astronomical, okay? As you continue to climb the ranks and get more experience, your price tag goes up. Yesterday's price is not today's price. So in the entry level role though, in tech sales, you're gonna start as an SDR, BDR, that's sales development rep, 
or a business development rep. And basically what you'll be doing is setting meetings for the account executives, which is the step higher than the entry level role. Now, I don't wanna make setting meetings sound like super simple and easy, right? You're gonna be faced with some rejection, of course, but not necessarily what you would expect, okay? Because you're calling businesses looking to help them either make more money or save them more money. And that's a totally different conversation than knocking on some stranger's door and asking them if they wanna buy some knives. So in this role, as an entry level SDR, you can make up to $70,000 a year, um, as y'all can see. And you can check out this video here as well, where I actually did this. And you can go through my journey of going through the tech industry all the way from starting a boot camp all the way into getting a role and what I experienced in the role as well. So if that's something you're interested in, go ahead and watch that after this video. And it's definitely not unheard for people to start this role with $85,000 jobs, y'all, just getting in entry level positions. So um, definitely not nothing to laugh at and scoff at. You know, that's a pretty good chunk of change for someone, not necessarily any experience or a degree. You can't really beat that. So y'all, these professions not only offer great salaries, but they also offer the opportunity to work on cutting edge technology. Remember y'all, these careers are entry level roles and you don't have to go to college. You don't necessarily have, have to have any experience as well. Now, I did wanna say though, sometimes I do see people when I'm making these videos, you know, they say, hey, um, there are people out here that are making these roles and jobs seem too easy. And so I'm going to go ahead and say it, y'all, you know, almost nothing worth having is necessarily easy, right? But the decision to leave that job you hate and get into tech could be worth it.